Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Before we get into the meat and potatoes, you already know this video was brought to you by Print Champs. Big Print Champs in the building. Use code Bulletin at checkout. Get everything you need. You know what I'm saying? It pertains to Eagles merchandise, fire, fire content curations by your boy. Make sure you check it out for sure. Yo, the divisional round was crazy, man. The divisional round was crazy. It was no short of no shortage of excitement. You know what I'm saying? At all in the divisional round, man. Starting with, you know, the Baltimore Ravens and the Texans. That was a really, really good game. Um, you know what I'm saying? Lamar was able to do what he do. The Ravens were able to, you know, shut those dudes down in the second half. They were able to find the answer for the blitz, ironically. And just, you know, good coaching prevailed, you know, in a divisional round, for sure. Then you go over to the, you know, the Green Bay Packers and the San Francisco 49ers. Another amazing game featuring another young quarterback who's being coached pretty well. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah, man, you know, the Packers was given the one seed all they could handle. All they can handle. But, you know, in the end, I think experience and Brock Purdy having a little more skin in the game in the playoffs was ultimately the deciding factor, man. Brock Purdy won without Debo Samuel and from coming from behind. So kudos to Brock Purdy in that game. Then today, man, the Lions and the Bucks, man. Again, the Bucks was giving the Lions all they can handle, man. Baker Mayfield was coming out there and proving that he is starter in his league for real, for real, man. You know, a lot of people like to, you know, like to clown on Baker, man, but Baker actually got some game. You know, um, Baker ain't surprised me the way he came out there with his swag and, you you know, delivering the ball and things of that nature. But two disastrous picks kind of put those guys behind the curve. And, you know, it's crazy that the Lions are in an NFC Championship game. You know what I mean? I, the Lions are in an NFC Championship game. That's crazy. And, you know, again, I will say how coaching prevails. Now, you know, the two most seasoned, you know, coaches with the two most seasoned quarterbacks, I guess, um, faced off, you know, in prime time a couple minutes ago, the Kansas City Chiefs and the uh, Buffalo Bills. Man, I don't know, man. I think the Bills cursed. That's the only way I could put that one, man. Bass with an ugly, ugly missed field goal at the end of that game. You know, Kansas City goes to six straight AFC Championship games. Patrick Mahomes is the definition of battle tested. He can win on the road. He can win at home. When it's playoff time, man, you just would be a fool to, you know, count the uh, Kansas City Chiefs out. And I was that fool. I thought Buffalo was going to pull it off due to the home field advantage, but their kicker had other plans. Let's get into this Eagles news, though. So the Philadelphia Eagles, um, they officially fire Sean Desai. Um, we all knew this was happening. The side was relinquished of, you know, defensive play calling responsibilities, uh, midway through the season, um, towards it, I guess towards the tail end of the season. And, you know, we, like I said, we, we knew that this was coming, um, but the Philadelphia Eagles been busy and looking for a replacement, man. I'm hearing Denard Wilson, you know, um, the Baltimore Ravens defensive back coach. He was with us for a while. You know what I mean? We, I, I kind of feel like we didn't give him his fair shake or his just due as, you know, um, a look for the defensive coordinator position. We went and outsourced, you know what I mean? Some guys and it just didn't it didn't work out. So now Denard Wilson, one thing Denard is good at is developing cornerbacks. You see how great the cornerback room is over there for Baltimore and we need that over here, man. I think he can get the best out of Slate and squeeze another one or two years out of him. Um, who knows, but you know, Denard Wilson would probably be at the top of the list. I hear we're also re reaching out to Wink Martindale. Uh, we know that he likes to bring pressure. He's not going to sit back there and just lay down. You know, anything is better than what we had going on in Philadelphia with um, Matt Patricia and Sean Desai, you know, splitting responsibilities and the Philadelphia Eagles having the worst third down defense in Eagles history. So, you know, the Philadelphia Eagles, you know, they're, they're making some things happen. You know what I mean? We're making some good phone calls. I like Wink. I like Denard. You know what I'm saying? Um, some of the names I'm hearing on the offensive side of the ball, I'm not really feeling. But, you know, we're going to cross that bridge when we cross that bridge. But, you know, as, as as defense goes, we just officially fired our, our defensive coordinator. So we're going to focus on, you know, the coordinators that we are looking at right now. And Denard Wilson is probably the best candidate for the job, if you ask me. But, you know, I'm not closing the door or the opportunity on Wink if Wink not going to be a head coach or whatever the case may be. So let me know what y'all think about, you know, um, the divisional round and the Philadelphia Eagles looking at Wink Martinell and Denard Wilson, man. <sighs> Crazy week ahead of us, man. Uh, championship games next week, man. I think, listen, I think the Lions going to the bowl, man. It's crazy to say. I think the Lions might be going to the bowl, but, you know, we're going to see, man. What